Good morning. So over the past few weeks, I've had trouble getting an early start. Yesterday was no exception, but it didn't bother me as much as it usually would. I may have mentioned this before, but I'm so excited that I finally got a washing machine and it arrived over the weekend. On Monday, we finally set it up. After twisting and banging on some pipes and an impromptu christening, which I'm both glad and disappointed that I didn't get on camera, I now have a working washing machine. Yesterday, I took that bad girl for a test run and washed more laundry than could fit on my drying rack. While the things were drying, I pulled up the blinds and surprisingly good words flowed out of my fingers. For weeks I'd only been writing in circles. A nice breeze picked up shortly before something which I was completely unprepared for happened. I live in a studio and I like to leave the front door open as much as possible. I have sheer curtains so I get the breeze without all the bugs, but my curtains are only a deterrent against birds. They can't actually keep any out. She looked like a subspecies of Passer Montanus. She headed for the obvious exit, my big front window. She ended up in the corner under a venation blind I hadn't pulled up, and hit her head against the glass she was against, sitting on a narrow ledge, her heart beating frantically. She wasn't the only one panicking. Spending years in an animal hospital didn't prepare me for this. If push came to shove, I knew that I could catch her without breaking her wings, but that was my last resort. She wasn't alarmed by the shooing noises I made only by my close proximity. Even when I cleared her path, she stayed in that corner. She seemed to like it better when I wasn't in the studio with her, but I didn't want to sit outside for hours until she figured out where the door was. It frustrated me that she couldn't see the door. She believed there was an obvious exit right in front of her. Why would she assume that there was an easier way elsewhere? In her mind, it was possible that if she kept trying, she would eventually get out. She crept along the ledge toward the door and sat on my boots, but she failed to get out of the door several times. So I forced myself to wait and watched her flit from the picture frame to the light tracks to the rudder of a toy plane. She perched on some old records of my father's and stared at that little piece of sky that she could see. It was while I was doing other things that she finally flew out the door. In 2006, I heard Bird is Prophet by Christine Fellows for the first time. The plot is relatively simple. A bird comes to her closed window expecting it to be open, because it was the first time he came. She says, sorry, but I didn't mean it then. We learned that last time he careened about, wildly and drunkenly, before begging to be taken back outside. When he comes to her a third time, he flies through the glass unscathed and is proud. But she objects, saying that the window was wide open. For a long time I liked the literal meaning so much that I dreamed of having a bird visit me. Yesterday when my visitor came, I was overwhelmingly anxious. The bird said, What I wouldn't give for arms to hold you. We are creatures of such like desire. The song is about opening your heart to people, caring for them. When I imagine myself as both the bird and the woman, I am reminded that there are many ways to care for someone. I've broken down a lot of walls in the past few months, but these last few seem impossible. I'm lonely and scared most of the time, and like the passer Montanus who couldn't find her way out of my studio, I can't find my way out of my own head sometimes. I see the way I should be going, the way I want to go, but figuring out whether I should keep trying until the invisible wall falls or go another way terrifies me. I left home to overcome my uncertainty, and I'm still fighting against glass and looking for the open door. Making noise and scare tactics didn't work for the little bird. Patience and distance did. Go have a listen to Christine Fellow's song. There's a link in the description. Thanks for watching.